Mr. President, I rise today because we as a nation have always come together, always come together to help each other in times of crisis without question, without politics. In my 20 years between the House and the Senate, I never questioned in the midst of a disaster somewhere in the country, which fortunately for the most part has not been New Jersey, about casting my vote to support those fellow Americans who found themselves in urgent need because of natural disasters, having nothing to do with any control they had whatsoever. This is not a time to politicize disaster aid. It is not who we are or what we expect this nation to be. Our goal when disaster strikes is to unleash the full force of the federal government to help families in trouble and communities in ruin, not to score some political points by slowing relief and calling it responsible fiscal policy. In the wake of a storm, when the flood waters rise, when the winds blow, when the storm surge rushes in, we shouldn't be rallying our political base. We should be rallying the full force of emergency responders to help. In the last few weeks, the East Coast has suffered an earthquake, a hurricane, and some of the worst flooding my state has seen in years, 100-year flood. I received a letter from a constituent in Moore's Landing in Monmouth County who wrote, Dear Senator Menendez, I live in Moore's Landing, a development of homes in Howell Township, Monmouth County, New Jersey. Our community is in great need of assistance. One section of our community was devastated by flooding from an overflow of the Manasquan Inlet in August 20 and 21st. Homes and property were destroyed. The families and lives of those homeowners were terribly disrupted. Then after the first calamity, Hurricane Irene brought further destruction to the same section of our community. But in addition to that repeated damage, Irene brought damage to a second section of our community. Hurricane Irene, in addition to the added homes and property damage, forced many of our residents to be evacuated in order to avoid drowning in the rushing floodwaters. This second catastrophe added to the misery and hardship suffered by our affected homeowners who lost their furniture, their carpets, their flooring, everything on the first floor of their homes, their furnaces, air conditioning units, and all of them have to tear down their water damage walls to avoid mold and dry out their homes. All this devastation and loss comes at a time when our people are already finding it difficult to make ends meet. These people have no money to take on the added costs of repair. Now, there is no one who would even buy their homes. So they are stuck with a true nightmare scenario. No money to fix things and no way to sell their homes. We need your help. I understand federal funding from FEMA might be available, and we urgently need your assistance in securing these funds for our neighbors so that these people can move on with their lives. Mr. President, that constituent, a fellow American, deserves to know that her government will be there to help, that relief is on the way, not held up in Congress to satisfy some ideology or political agenda. When disaster strikes, Americans come together. We do not hesitate. We do not ask why. We do not wait. We rush to our neighbors and do all we can to help them rebuild. After the damage and flooding Irene caused, we came together as we always do as a community, each of us working together to help others. Now, I had the opportunity to tour the flooded areas of New Jersey with the Army Corps of Engineers, and then we went to Patterson. This is a picture of Patterson, New Jersey, where these responders are on a boat. Uh, with the President and Governor Christie of my state to assess that damage. After five days of flooding, there were still those who were homeless, trying to put the pieces of their lives back together. As we flew over the area with the President that day, we could see mud lines on homes indicating how high the floodwaters had reached. And then, tragically, we saw home 
after home, where everything, up and down some streets, all the personal belongings of residents had been put out as trash, cherished pieces of their lives, lost or ruined. Patterson was particularly hard hit. Ironic, the river that once fueled the economy of Patterson washed out bridges, dams along the river were badly damaged, power was knocked out for days, and with the latest rains, flooding again took place even after Hurricane Eileen, Irene. So the water may have receded, but the consequences have not. Now, we've been very pleased with the federal response so far, a response that should have nothing, nothing to do with politics, nothing to do with political budget debates in Washington, and everything to do with the real needs of families in Patterson, in Lincoln Park, in so many places uh, in Wayne, and so many other places in New Jersey and across this country. Some of these people have to start over, start their lives over, and FEMA, along with other federal, state, and local officials, need the resources necessary not only to move in as quickly as possible to deal with the crisis, but the resources necessary to deal with the aftermath, politics notwithstanding. Because when one community is in trouble, we are all in trouble and we pull together. Now, frankly, Mr. President, I cannot believe that there are those in this chamber and in the other body who see this as a political opportunity. Those who would focus on the politics of relief, even in the face of families who have watched their lives wash away, their properties in ruins and their communities devastated. Mr. President, New Jersey suffered severe damages and left families already struggling with another challenge. And it's up to all of us to help them. Irene was a powerful storm. But what we have learned is that there is nothing more powerful than what unites us as community. It is in times like these when families and small businesses trying to recover that we appreciate the role of professional, well-equipped, well-trained local, state, and federal boots on the ground. In my view, one of the most legitimate and non-debatable roles of government, clearly I've heard many of my colleagues refer to this in a different context is the security of our people. Well, if you are homeless as a result of a disaster, the, you're, you have a security problem. And that is to provide a helping hand to its citizen when there's nowhere else to turn. Yes, we have to do all we can to keep our economy moving, create jobs, and reduce the deficit. We have to make cuts where we can. But in the face of disasters, we cannot say no to families who have lost everything. We cannot say no when floodwaters are rising, homes are lost, possessions are piled in the streets, families are picking through the mud to put whatever pieces of their lives they can find together once again. We are not a nation that ties helping them recover to the politics of the moment. We are not a nation that leaves our neighbors alone in the time of tragedy. We don't stand down in times of crisis. We step up. We in New Jersey are grateful to the President for coming to Patterson and to Wayne and for the rapid and effective response of FEMA and state and local officials after Irene to families who have lost so much. But any attempt to slow relief to these families is, in my view, and in the view of Governor Christie of my state, uh, any attempt to politicize this disaster to advance an ideology at the expense of all that we stand for as a nation is not acceptable. You know, uh, the President said we will do what is necessary to respond. You know, uh, Senator Lautenberg and I took the same view, and Governor Christie took the same view. And we don't want to get into the politics of, of budget debates or whether this should be offset later on. That's, that's a question for later on. The question right now 
for people who find themselves without a home to knock on that door is, is the federal government, the one that I pay my taxes to, the one that I swear an oath of allegiance to every day, is it going to respond to me now? I did not question the need to respond to tornadoes in Joplin, floods in the Dakotas, or terrible consequences of hurricane in Louisiana, or any other place in this country. And I do not expect that my colleagues now will say no to their fellow Americans who need help now in New Jersey and in other states along the East Coast. It is simply not the American way to not support the funds necessary uh, and deal uh, with the challenges these families have now. So, Mr. President, let's keep our eye on the ball. There are families in real need, really struggling in ways that we can't even imagine. And we have a responsibility to put politics aside and do what is right. We have that opportunity very shortly. Let us do what is right. Let us get this money to the federal agencies that can help turn around these people's lives. That's the American way. That's the vote that we have later today. With that, Mr. President, I yield the floor.